Hey everybody, how you doing? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And today we're going to learn how to apply your adjustment layers to, to only part of an image. So sometimes you don't want your adjustment layer to affect everything in the image. Say maybe I don't want the uh, the sky to be uh, adjusted with the brightness adjustment layer or anything like that. So I'm going to show you one way that we can um, pretty much opt out the sky by uh, painting it out in its uh, mask. So what you need to do first is uh, just bring up an image and then add uh, some adjustment layers and then adjust them so you can see some kind of change. So what I did is I have um, a brightness and contrast layer on right now and I just up the contrast up to uh, 52. So you can do that if you want or you don't have to. So go ahead and um, go into your layers panel over here and select the mask part. And the mask part of the, uh, the layers panel is this white box right here. And this is actually a mask. And what you want to do next is make sure you have this properties panel open. So if you don't have it open, just go to Windows and then click on Properties. You want to make sure that your density is at 100% and your feather is at 0%. Now, feel free to adjust those if you really need to, but for this tutorial, this is how we're going to keep these so we can get a nice crisp uh, line. So go ahead and select a regular paintbrush and then go ahead and pick one of your regular uh, brush tips there. And uh, you want to have it on normal. You want to have the opacity at 100%. Um, if you have the opacity down, it's not going to um, have the full effect on there. So make sure you have your uh, layer selected here. And I want to show you real quick what it looks like with the adjustment layer on and with the adjustment layer off. So this is on right now. And if I click on the eye to hide it, this is off. You can see it's a lot brighter. Now, let's go ahead and uh, start painting this sky. As you can see now, it is painting um, out, the, uh, out the sky. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention real quick is that you want to make sure that your, for your paintbrush, the foreground color is black. And uh, anything that's black in your mask that gets painted is going to be uh, taken out of the adjustment layer. So let's go ahead and paint. And so, and you get the idea. I'm not going to go super in depth with this, but if you wanted to, you could basically get a your, zoom in and get your brush into all these little crevices and everything like that. So uh, that's how you paint that stuff out. Now. Say you messed up and, oh crap, I just accidentally went way down there into this guy's hat. Just switch up, um, make your foreground color white now, and then you can paint it right back in. So if you happen to know what an alpha mask is, this is kind of like that. In that black is going to take away the um, adjustment layer, it's going to take away the property that you put on it, and white anything that's white in the mask is going to bring it back in. So if I start painting this back on with the white, the uh, adjustment layer is going to be filled back in there. So let me change this back and I'll just change it back to black and just paint this out real quick. And um, I just wanted to show you that in the layers panel, if we come over here, you can see now that part of the thumbnail image here is black. And you can also see it on the layer mask here. So that really helps you out. Now the the intensity of the black or the intensity of the white is also going to have an effect. So let's go ahead and switch this to 50% gray or somewhere around there. So I have switched that to that. Now if I go ahead and paint, it's only going to apply the um, adjustment layer at 50%. Now if you change the uh, gray to something like a 35% here, <clears throat> so if I come up here and go 35% gray, something like that, um, it's going to uh, change as well. So 
more when it's a, a lighter gray it's going to show more of the adjustment and layers property if it's a darker gray it's going to show less of the adjustment and layers property so as you can see there now hopefully um, you guys can all see the change on the screen of the different color of the sky as I'm painting it over now that's all you need to really know about being able to paint in your masks and everything now if you look on your mask always check that out to see um, as you can see here on the mask if you look close in there there is a black dot and I would want to get that out by uh, painting it over and now you can see that the black dot has uh, is gone now so just keep an eye on your things when you're painting and just be mindful of what you're doing obviously so that's it for the tutorial and we're gonna I'm gonna show you another way to do this and another tutorial that you might find easier depending on the type of image that you're working on so I look forward to seeing you guys in that one have a good one